Welcome back to another very special Pilates for your period. <laughs> My name's Raven and I will be your instructor for the day. I am a Pilates instructor, bar instructor, and a professional dancer. And we are here to slay the period away. No, I'm just kidding, can't do that with exercise, but. <laughs> we are here to slay away just all the icks. I know my body personally gets so tight and just fatigued and I really start to lack energy. So this um, little workout is gonna give you lots of energy through light stretches, nothing too strenuous, lots of sculpting, um, and really just going slow and steady. So for these workouts, all you're gonna need is your mat, something nice and cozy to wear. I've got my gorgeous merch on. I will include a little link down in the description box below if you wanna check it out. It's perfect for plotties for a period. Um, and some water too. So when you're ready, set your space up, get your mind right. You should be proud of yourself for just making it here to the mat and we will get started. Here we go. Alright everyone, come to lying down on your mat, legs are drawn together, toes and ankles pointed. Take your stacked palms onto your belly and just take a few big deep breaths right here. Exhale. Two more times. Fill up the lungs and belly and feel how it escapes out. Last one. Exhale, let all the air and tension out. Draw your right knee into your chest. Give yourself a big hip flexor stretch there. You should feel a nice lengthening through your opposite side. And then with your opposite arm, cross it over. I'm pushing my right arm down. I'm breathing and opening my right shoulder. For three. Feel a big stretch in your back, two. Now draw your knee back into your chest, square everything off, hold on to the back of your leg, flex your foot, we kick up. Woo! On my period, of course I get like really stiff, like I said earlier, but I noticed myself like wanting to stay still and sitting around a lot more, so my hamstrings, my hips get really groggy, but we're gonna fix that today. We're gonna fix it as much as we can, honey. Woo, I'm feeling it in the back of my leg for three. Feels good. Two. And one, bring it in, stretch that leg out. We've got the other side. Draw the left knee in. Let your rib cage start to relax down into the mat. Left arm open, cross over. Get a big stretch in your side for three, two. Pull it back into the center. Make sure your right leg's still long. Flex left heel, here we go. Ooh, I feel it in the back, the belly of my hamstring. Start breathing into your spine. Let it really relax on the mat. Wow, I can't talk, I said real relax. <laughs> Six, seven, last one, eight, and lower that leg down. All right, now drag your heels in about hip distance apart, right underneath your knees, push your arms down, articulated bridges. Curl your pelvis under, bone by bone, start to lift your hips up, squeezing your seat. Your bra line should almost remain down on the mat, then roll your spine down, bone by bone. Whew. Go again, push your arms into the mat, roll your spine up. Should feel good on your back, should feel really opening in the fronts of your hips. I get really tight, like I said, in my legs on my period. Two more, just like this. Imagine your spine is like a string of pearls. Melt down. Last one. 
curl under, draw in. Lift up and hold it. Now keep your spine nice and long. Lower halfway down, squeeze up. So it's more of a hinge bridge now. Really use your butt and your hamstrings. Whew, I'm already feeling it. Keep pushing your arms down. Five. Oh my gosh, my quads are so tight. Six. Core is tight. Seven. Woo, baby. Hold it up on eight. Hold right here. Now, imagine there's two strings up to the ceiling on your hip bones. Cut your right string. Your left hip stays there. Push back up. Same side. Right hip dips. Right hip lifts. Woo. You should feel glu both glutes. Turn it on, baby. It's kind of like a little Shakira dance. <laughs> Almost there. Five. Six. It should be really good twisting in your trunk, though, your core. One more. Other side, go. One left. Use your left booty to push the hips back to the starting position. Three. But your right side stays there. Ooh, it's burning. Five. Almost done. Seven. Hold it, eight. Alternate, here we go, side to side. Hip star <laughs> Four. Five, imagine your little kneecaps are staying so though. Seven. Eight, one more set, one. Breathing, three. Keep those hips up. Six, seven, last one is eight. Hold it up. Four, three, two, roll down again. Ooh, my glutes are on fire, honey. <sighs> last variation, pick the hips back up and hold it. Just your right heel, lift and lower. One, two, articulate that ankle. Squeeze right under your butt cheeks. Six, keep breathing. Eight, oh boy, nine. Other side, go, one. Over counted, it's okay, what's two more reps? <laughs> Almost there. Seven, eight, lower the hips if your back starts to bother you. Now alternate, one, two, squeeze your butt. Oh boy, five, six, push those arms down, seven, Eight, almost there. Nine, 10, roll down. Whew. Feet together, right ankle crosses over left knee. Figure four stretch, so important right here. Especially when you're on your period. Like I said, your hips can get tight, tight, tight. For three, two, one, other side. Whoa. Pull it in for four, three, two, one. All righty, rock yourself up and come to lying down on your right side. Okay, everyone, we are lying down on our right side. My spine is along the back edge of the mat and my legs are out long. Here we go. Top leg lifts, lower, just hip height. Two, three, point through your ankles, toes. Last one, hold it up on five. This is always a modification. Now, top leg stays there, bottom leg goes one, two, it's a full body. Three, abs, legs, hips, inner thighs. Now hold both legs down, both legs up. Squeeze those inner thighs for me and really elongate your waistline. So you might feel a big long stretch in the front of your body, that's good. That's why I picked this one. <laughs> Five, keep going. No higher than hip height. These are really important muscles. Eight, keep pulling your belly button to spine. Nine, Woo. Hold it up on 10, hold right here. Now, both legs open, close. One, two, use your abs. Three, both open, both close. Whew. Inner thighs, really zip. <sighs> Breathing. <sighs> I'm feeling a big stretch in that left hip. Nine, 
Now hold it 10, make it tiny, turn it into tiny little beats here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold it, 1, go back to lower. Both legs lift. Two, you should really feel your waist working. Three, ooh baby, four, I feel it. Five, halfway, almost done in these y'all. Six, all of this is one. Seven, eight, squeeze those inner thighs. Nine, last one, 10. Lower down, top left hand reaches back to left leg, holds that quad stretch there. Think about pushing your heel into your hand, pushing your hip bones forward and opening that left thigh for four, for three, should feel good, two, and one. Okay. Come on up, swing those legs around, other side. Ooh, I feel that whole left side of my body. I don't know about y'all, but I get so discombobulated on my period. <sighs> Mentally and physically. <laughs> More than usual, five times lift and lower. One, two, point the ankles and toes. Three, I don't care how high it goes. Four, we hold this fifth one up. Now bottom leg, one. Ooh. This left inner thigh for me is so weaker. Why can't I talk? <laughs> Four. Now hold it together on five. Both lower, one. <sighs> Whew. Think someone's pulling your toes out the door. Six, you're using that waistline. Almost there. Nine. We're holding it up on 10. This is our home base. Both open, close, one. Try to work your legs evenly. Three, four, five, six. Think about a big, strong zipper between the legs. Eight. How can that bottom side work? Nine. Hold them together, 10. Now tiny little beats for 10, nine, eight. Keep them up, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to the beginning, lower both legs, lift one. Ooh, two. Honestly, there is nothing better than working out in your jammies. <laughs> and even though, like I said, these aren't jammies, these shorts kind of are, they're from Target. But there's nothing better. Five, both sides should be working hard. Six, we're almost there. Squeeze those inner thighs. Seven, you got it baby. Eight, nine, one more here. 10, lower down, right hand reaches back. Oh, this quad is so tight, you guys. Push your foot into your hand, push your hip bones forward and pull this thigh back. For three, two, whoo, big old stretch, honey. Let's do one more stretch right here. Lay on your tummy, both arms come out, you lift your right leg up, you tap the right leg over to the left for a big lower back stretch. I feel it all through the front of my abs and my lower back and my left shoulder. Bring it in. Try the other side, lift left leg up, tap it over. Kind of looks like, like a spider or something. For three, two, Woo. bring it back to the center, sit your body back, child's pose. <laughs> Hips back, big stretch. Hips are back in your stretch for three, two, one. Come on up, Woo. come on to all fours. We're gonna work our spines, our abs to finish. Hands right underneath shoulders, knees under hips. 
You're gonna extend your left leg back behind yourself, reach that right arm, and we've gotta lift. Lower. Try not to move your back here. Again, we're opening the front of your hip. Try not to move your lower back too much and really squeezing your booty. Five. Gotta work that left arm too. Why did I just think to myself, got a white boy in my rest? <laughs> he be feeding me pasta and lobster. <laughs> pasta and lobster actually sounds really good. <laughs> On your period. <sighs> Almost there. Four more. Four. Think about squeezing your inner thighs here too. Three. Ooh. Two. Hold it up on one. We go in and out. One. Use the abdominals. Two. Ooh, mine are sore. Keep it going. Four. Breathing. Push down to that left arm. Last one. Hold everything out for eight, seven, six, four, three, two. Lower down. Now, same leg extends out nice and. Did y'all hear my hip crack? Oh my gosh. No, because we worked our inner thighs. My left leg is out to the side. Sit your hips back just as much as you can. Just a nice, juicy hip stretch. If you only go to here, that's fine. You don't have to sit your butt to your heel but you should feel inner thigh working. Woo. One more. <laughs> Hold it for three, really sit your booty back. Two, push this left foot down. One, Woo. bring it back. <laughs> I really hope y'all hear how loud my hip just completely cracked open. Here we go, left arm, right leg, lift lower one. We got 16 of these. Two, squeeze your butt. Breathing, three. Keep the core tight, four. Keep the spine long. Keep stretching, eight. How you breathing, nine. Woo, baby. Eleven. Right arm's gonna burn. <laughs> let it burn, let it burn. Gotta let it burn. Hope you're watching Usher so I can get free tickets to your concert in Vegas. <laughs> if anyone's been to the Usher concert in Vegas, comment and let us know how it was. What did we miss out on last one? Hold it. Round in one. It's definitely bucket list for me. <sighs> Breathing. Three. Keep going. Keep going. Oh boy, almost there. Woo, last one. Hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Lower it down. Right leg out to the side. Ooh, didn't click. <laughs> Slowly sit your hips back just until you feel a nice inner thigh stretch. Bring it up. Repeat. Hips back two. Oh boy. This side didn't click, but it is just as tight. I've been doing a lot of Pilates though, so my inner thighs are real sore. Last one. Inner thighs are a part of your core though. They're so important to train. One, two, three. Four, bring that leg in, open your knees nice and wide, child's pose. When you're ready, slowly roll yourself up because you are finished with Pilates for your period. Don't forget, this is a three-part series. You can pick and choose how you wanna do these workouts. They're all under 20 minutes. They all require your jammies and a mat, and that's it. So let me know if you liked it today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> let me know if you have any questions in the comments. You can also always hit me up on Instagram, and hopefully I will see you on the mat soon. Bye, y'all.